What's going on? How are you doing? My name is Dave the Cook, and today I'm going to show you how to mix your drums in Logic Pro X or any DAW. All you gotta do is apply the same tactics that I will be showing you. So I have this beat here. It's called Your Ways. I'm gonna play the beat, the beat, so you get a feel of the beat, and then we'll just start from there. But before we get into the video, I want you to mind you to hit the subscribe button, also drop a like button. So let's get into it. So that's the beat right there. Now, if you want to check out the full beat, the full beat will be down below in the description. So one of the first things I like doing when it comes to mixing drums is pretty much having everything on one channel fader, pretty much grabbing all the instruments and busting it to one single bus. So for example, what that would look like is if I grab the drop, the effects, main snare, second snare, hi-hats, open hat, and the kick. I grab all of these and then I'll just pretty much bust it. So I, for example, I'll go here, put bus two, and I'll just label the drums. So if I were to solo this, all my drums are in one fader. So if I wanna make the drums louder, then I'll just bring up this fader here and I'll make all of the drums louder together. So that's one of the, that's the first thing I like to do. But before we start doing any of that, I'm gonna take off all the plugins and we're just gonna start from scratch. The first step is leveling and that is so important is leveling making sure everything is hitting right and you're not clipping it in general so i like starting from the low end and moving my way up so i like starting for with the kick so what i like to do is i like muting all the other drums and just keeping the 808 and then the guitars or whatever melody piano whatever you're using and then just leveling the kick I think about there sounds good and then I just slowly incorporate all the other drums in there so then I'll add the clap or the snare sounds good there I'll probably bring it up just a little bit honestly And because that is the second snare, I like keeping it lower than the main snare, but it's still loud and it's still punchy, it's still there. So that's how I like using like whether it be like the percussions. So if it's like a boom, the like all that, the, pretty much the percussion, the second snare, I like keeping it lower than the main, but it's still there. The main snare is hitting louder than the second snare, but it's still around the same level. I just pretty much go instrument by instrument, instrument by instrument, leveling everything. So then I'll bring in open hats. So I'll probably lower this a little bit. Bring in the high hats. So that's good there, the drums are hitting. And that's pretty much step one when it comes to mixing your drums is leveling everything. Now the next thing I like doing is, I keep everything very simple when it comes to mixing drums in general. All I pretty much do is just EQ and compress, but I don't even compress everything. Like other than the drum bus, that I will compress and I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. But other than that, I just pretty much EQ. So for example, I'll go to the main snare. I'll just bring up a regular channel EQ. get rid of this low end and that's pretty much all I'll do to the snare for now and the next thing I'll do is I'll bring in a plugin by waves it's called 
smack attack. And then what this is going to do is I'm going to bring up a little bit more of those transients, pretty much the attack and sustain. So pretty much what this is going to do is it going to take out some of the, it's going to add some attack to the snare so that way it's more, it's more snappy in the way of it's going to be right in your ear and that's pretty much what I'm going for with this snare. And then other than that, I'm not really going to compress it just because honestly, they're all hitting at the same velocity though. Every snare hit is going to hit at the same time. When it comes to like drum samples like these, they're all processed, like they're already been compressed, they're already been EQ'd so there's not much you have to do to it. You could just leave it like this, honestly, but I like adding, like, for example, some more attack, getting, getting, giving it that snappier feel to the snare. So when it comes to the second snare, what I did to the second snare is I did humanize it, and then you could tell each one of these is hitting at a different velocity. So those I might compress, but other than that, I pretty much do the same thing. I just go in here, take out an EQ. So all I'm going to do is just pretty much EQ it. Pretty much with the kick, I do do a little bit different other than EQ and compress. I still do that, but for the most part, when it comes to EQing, I do things a little bit different. I like, I just like taking out some of those highs. I like taking out some of around 400 just because that's where a lot of the boxiness of the kick is and I kind of want to make it a little bit tighter a little bit more punchier so that's why I take out some of the highs and then a little bit of that 400. And then I like using a plugin like Max Bass. So pretty much what Max Bass is going to do is going to bring up some of those harmonics within the 100 frequency. It's going to bring up, add some of that bass. So pretty much it's going to give it a fuller feel, punchier kick, and it's going to make it feel fatter. After that, all I pretty much do is just EQ hi-hats. I don't really do much to hi-hats other than EQ it and then add like some tremolo. So pretty much when it comes to hi-hats, I just cut all this out. Add a plugin like tremolo, which is modulation, tremolo. So it's left, right. And then pretty much what this is gonna do is gonna add dynamics to the hi-hat. So it's gonna kind of move it left and right. So it's gonna give it this cool effect. Open hats, I do the same thing. I just EQ the open hats. Everything is already EQ'd and then it has smack attack for the most part. Since everything is going to one drum bus with sis, what I like doing to that one drum bus is I like EQing and compressing it as a whole, pretty much as one drum bus. So pretty much what I do to this drum bus is gonna do to everything. So pretty much what I do is I like leveling everything, pretty much EQing and adding whatever like effects that I want to add to the certain instrument to make it unique or whatever I'm doing, like whether it's tremolo or add a smack attack, pretty much making the sound how I want it to sound. And then I EQ and compress the drum bus in general. So pretty much one of the EQs I love using is a pull tech EQ. And I'm gonna use the one by Waves. What I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna boost up some of those low ends and then boost some of the high. So pretty much I'll just go to probably about 60 Hertz.
So depending on the kick you're using is whether you're going to boost 60 hertz or 100 hertz. I, te I tend to find 100 hertz is probably the best. And I'm going to boost probably some of that 12K. And then next thing I like doing is I like adding another SSL plugin, and that's the SSL channel strip. I'm gonna cut 20 hertz just because you don't need the 20 hertz in the kick. The 808 will be taking care of those frequencies there. So pretty much I'm just doing a little bit of compression. I am doing uh fairly fast release and this is pretty much just to compress those double kicks so pretty much not every kick is being compressed it's just more of those boom boom that's what's getting compressed so pretty much it's that second boom boom that's getting compressed so that way it doesn't take up too much and then it is squishing pretty much everything together now i will be adding a little bit more i'll be adding some 16k just bring out some more of that snare and hi-hats And then pretty much the last plugin I use to mix my drums is a SSL compressor. And the, what I do with this compressor is, is I do a fast release and then I do a slow attack. So pretty much what that's going to do is going to allow the kick and the transients of the kick to punch through. And then because it is a slower attack, once the punch comes in, then the compressor comes in and I do a fast release. So it's just pretty much compressing. I do a four to one ratio and I just do like a subtle compression. And then if you really hear it, it does make a difference so if i put this back at zero to so make it even you'll hear the drums getting tighter and that's pretty much the few you're going for is a tight drum this is over compressing it And then I'm bringing up about 3 dBs of makeup gain. That's pretty much it. That's all I really do to my drums. And then I just add like some saturation or some preamp. Preamp I added is Little Radiator by Sound Toys. And I love this plugin. This plugin is dope. Bust it into it. And it's going to give it this more of a fuller, tighter feel. Punch your drums. And it's going to make everything sound a lot nicer. So I'm going to overdo it. And then I'm going to bring it back. Now, if you don't want to clip on your drum bus, you could throw a limiter on there and then just put it at like negative 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. I usually put in 0 0.2 if I am using a limiter. So that way you're not peeking on the drum bus. Other than that, you just mix it back into the melody and the 808. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you find yourself, for example, like the hi-hats are louder now. So I'll just probably bring the loud, the hi-hats down a bit. When it comes to mixing drums, you don't really have to do too much to your drums to make them sound good. All I really do is just bust everything to one bus, level everything, EQ it, Add whatever plugin effects you have to add and then EQ and compress the main drum bus. If you think you're going too loud, add a limiter, 
add some saturation some preamp to make it a little bit punchier giving it that fuller feel one thing you got to understand is that a lot of these drum samples they're already processed they're already eq they're already compressed whoever created the sample whether it's like the snare the clap etc they already did a lot of the processing they already did a lot of the work all you really do is just little stuff here and there little tweaks and that's pretty much it a lot of the times you just got to choose the right sample and then you just got to mix it back into the melody in 808 so that's pretty much how i mix my drums is i like using that process that i use now if you want to get your song mix and mastered by me or your beat mix and mastered by me feel free to hit me up on my instagram or reach out to me my website will be down below in the description and also the full beat will be down below in the description and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace